is Rochelle Smith, entrepreneur, professional speaker, and author. Last time, I highlighted the importance of discovering, embracing, and fulfilling your life purpose, and how important that is to achieving and increasing your overall life happiness. This time, I want to talk about something that I am deeply passionate about. And if you know me well, you know I'm always, 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 always highlighting and emphasizing the importance of confidence. And specifically, in regards to increasing your overall life happiness, I want to talk about confidence in three specific areas. First, confidence for your purpose. As I highlighted last week, your purpose, your life assignment, your life mission, whatever words you use to describe it is so important. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to move forward in the direction of your life purpose. But folks, when you do that, it's going to take a great deal of confidence going to take a great deal of courage because everyone may not agree with the direction that you're taking. Some people may call you crazy. Some people may feel like you, you know, your head's in the clouds. Some people may actually support you. Some people may be jealous of you and envious of you for taking that step to pursue the next level of, of life happiness. And so folks, confidence is going to be required to move forward in the direction of your purpose. Whatever your life calling is, whatever your life purpose is, only you know that. You've got to discover that and confidently move, in, move forward to pursue it. Second, confidence in relation to your personhood. And I think that this is something particularly for each and every card-carrying member of the human race can struggle with this one. We all have at some point in life, and I'll be the first to tell you. So people look at me now and they're like, oh my gosh, you're so confident, you're so secure. And I can tell you it hasn't always been this way. <laughs> which is why I can tell you that it can be done, but it will take a lot of work. It will take a lot of work to reshape your mindset, to reshape your thinking in various areas. And so when I speak of confidence in regard to your personhood, that is being secure in who you are and not allowing anyone, whether that be society or any person, stranger, the, the infamous they that people always talk about, anyone else change who you are. Now, We've all struggled, particularly in high school, that's a rough period for all of us, where you're trying to discover your identity, you don't quite know who you are yet, and that's all fine and acceptable. But I always like to challenge people and say, I, once we get out of high school, we really need to be pushing forward and pressing towards a higher level of confidence in our lives. Because when people challenge a personhood, they will tell you you're not good enough. And unfortunately, some people hear that in childhood. You're not good enough. You need to do this. You need to do that. One of the things that probably resonates in all of my books is that my parents were and absolutely are phenomenal. And I was blessed to be raised in an environment where my parents loaded me with confidence in terms of who I was, in terms of what I can achieve. But high school, things got a little shaky for me. I had no problem admitting that. And fortunately, I've kind of come back, <laughs> reverted back, or that, that part of my life has been restored again. But let me encourage you, when it comes to your personhood, value yourself. As a human being, you are innately, uniquely created and, and, and valuable. You have innate worth. And so don't, don't let anyone else or other people tell you or challenge who you really are. But you've got to be confident, though. Once you realize who you really are, you've got to be confident to live out an authentic life, as I talked about in week two. Because it's easy to do what other people feel you should do and be who society and other people think you should be. But that's not who you really are. And then honestly... No one wants to go through life wearing masks and facades, and unfortunately, most people do. But don't be one of those people. Be secure in who you are, and don't worry about what will this person think, what will that person do or say. And let me tell you, when I reflect back on my life, particularly my corporate years, I actually kind of pat myself on the back <laughs> because there were certainly opportunities for me, and it's easy in that environment, particularly in the workplace, particularly in the competitive corporate world where it's easy to kind of cave to that peer pressure of what is my boss or what do my colleagues think I should do or be in this situation. A couple of examples. First, it's still true today. There's one idiosyncrasy that I have that it won't take you long if you know me to figure out. It is that I go to bed really early. <laughs> 8.30, 9 o'clock. It's a wrap. And so it's been that way for a long time. But again, I'm at the gym super early in the morning, 
and I believe in getting a full night's rest every night. So that's why part of the reason why I have so much energy, I sleep very well. But so sleep and rest is very important to me. And back in my years in the corporate world, first instance, I was actually an intern in Minneapolis and started my career out in consumer packaged goods marketing. And I was an intern the summer before I graduated. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were at a conference in Baltimore, had a little group dinner for everyone that had, you know, from our division that had gone to this particular conference. And I so remember, it may have been about 9, 9.30. We're all in Baltimore walking through the little harbor area, beautiful area. And they were going out for drinks. Okay, we've had dinner as a group. We're going to go out for drinks, whatever. Okay. So regardless of any situation, I'm going to bed. And I so remember saying, you guys have a good time. See you all in the morning at breakfast. And I so remember my manager telling me, so you're going to break up the group, Rochelle? And at that point, again, I'm an intern. At that point, felt like I had something to prove. But even then, I stayed true to who I really was and said, yep, I guess I am. You all have a great night and proceed to go right back to my hotel room and went right to bed. So that's an example. My sales career um, definitely remained true to who I was in that same instance where we have our regional, sometimes national sales meeting, quarterly sales meetings, go out to these group dinners. Wonderful. Then afterwards, people want to go hang out, have drinks some more. Okay. Once again, everybody knows Rochelle goes to bed early. So fortunately, I remain true to who I was. And as Dr. Phil always says, we teach people how to treat us. So from, from the get-go, from my very first sales manager, you all have a great night. Number one, I don't drink. Um, number two, I go to bed early. So there's absolutely no fun for me in this situation. But you all go out, you have a wonderful time, and I'll see you in breakfast. And each and every manager, <laughs> each and every colleague learned, like, do not to the Rochelle is going to bed early, just leave her alone and she will be up full of energy and peppy in the morning. And that's just definitely how it always was. Thirdly, another example popping off the top of my head, my gym time always has been, since 1994, so we're talking 22 years, has been a very sacred time for me. Even in the corporate world, my sales managers, my colleagues, my sales directors, my customers, everybody knows. Everybody knew, and even that this rule still applies today, don't call me or don't text me while I'm in the gym because you will get ignored, and I will return your call once I get back home. But I don't go to the gym to text message. I don't go to the gym to talk on the phone. That's my time, and so that's it. But again, that was important to me. All my colleagues, superiors learn, and customers learn how important that was to me, but it took confidence to do that. Okay, earlier this month, I went to a fantastic group retreat on Lake Huron. Okay, one of the group organizers said, hey, we're going to be carpooling. You know, gave us all these names and whatever, this and that. Somebody reached out to me and said, do you want to carpool? You know, Rochelle, I'm very independent. <laughs> if you know me, you know how I respond to this. But I said, okay, that's great. You all have fun with these carpools, but I'm going to be driving myself there. And I look forward to the retreat, and I know it's going to be wonderful. But again, it took confidence for me to do that and say, well, what if I hurt somebody's feelings? What if I offend somebody? And so those are just some examples from my own life, folks. And so situations, people will come and challenge your personhood. But in those situations, I remain confident, secure, and true to who I really was. And I move forward. And actually, people learn. They kind of learn who you are, and they respect that. People respect people who know who they are and who are confident and secure in who they are and don't let other people change them. So your personhood is very important. You have your quirks, idiosyncrasies. We all do. So just remain true to who you are and have the confidence to accept your personhood, strengths, weaknesses. We all have them, but that doesn't matter. You're still wonderful just as you are. Before I close, I want to talk about the importance of confidence to partnerships. And when I mean partnerships, I'm not talking about just business partnerships, professional partnerships, friendships, relationships. What I'm talking about is any type of relationship. Confidence is so important. And whenever I speak, I always integrate
confidence into the topic material because it's just so important and I'm deeply passionate about it because I think once you get a hold of confidence, a healthy, balanced confidence, and understand your worth and intrinsic value as a human being, your life will forever be changed. But as far as confidence and relationships are concerned, it's really important for you to once again understand that you're valuable, you're worthwhile, you're, you're absolutely an awesome creation. But if you don't believe that, folks, you will walk into any type of relationship, professional, friendship, romantic, whatever the case may be, even interactions with strangers, that low self-esteem, that insecurity, that inferiority, that lack of confidence will shine through. And folks, confidence, people are drawn to people who are, have a healthy level of confidence. We're not talking about arrogance. We're not talking about narcissism. We're not talking about any of that conceit. We're talking about people that are humble, and confident, and know the value that they have as people. Because when you walk into a situation and you understand that, it's just very empowering and it's very inspiring for other people. Because those negative traits that I mentioned, the insecurity, inferiority, they will absolutely positively destroy your relationships. One thing I often say is, never walk into an interaction with another person, and I mean this, with the exception of you know children under the age of 18. Parents, you have a responsibility to build up your kids, to encourage them, to teach them their value and worth. But as an adult, folks, we can't be going to interactions with people saying, it's this person's responsibility to make me feel better about myself. It's this person's responsibility to make me feel valuable. It's my boss's job to, to make me feel important. Folks, it's our responsibility. Our confidence, our security, our self-esteem, our self-worth, our self-concept, our self-image as adults is our responsibility. So the minute you start to put that expectations on that expectation on people, your relationships are going to break down, and in many cases, they will fail. Think over your life. Think over failed relationships. Think over job situations that didn't work out, or com particularly conflicts that you've had. When you really get down to the nitty-gritty, how we feel about ourselves is ex extremely important. If you don't like yourself, if you don't like who you are, that is going to poison not only your, your partnerships or relationships, as I mentioned, it's going to poison each and every aspect of your life. And folks, we are independent. We are interdependent. We need one another. We need relationships of all types. We, we're not, we don't live on an isolated island. So whether you're in the workplace, whether you're in church, whether you're in business, whether you're in some type of hobby, professional organization, partnerships and relationships are so important. We help each other succeed. We help each other learn and grow. But confidence is absolutely required. Because if you're walking to any interaction, any relationship with a cup half empty all the time, saying, fill me up, help me feel better about myself, teach me my worth, teach me my value, show me how to do this, teach me what my parents didn't teach me. And that's great, because my whole life is built around encouraging and inspiring and empowering people. So I pour my whole life into people. But folks, it's very important, though, that these people learn how to be confident on their own. Because I can't give it to you. And that's where relationships fail is because the person is constantly needing to be pumped up or fixed or made to feel worthwhile and valuable. And sooner or later, the other person is going to get tired. The boss will get tired and, and transfer you to another department or find a way to get rid of you. The relationship partner is going to get tired of reassuring you of your worth and value and making you feel secure. You know, the business partner may decide to sell his or her part of the business to someone else because folks, insecurity, low self-esteem, and a lack of confidence is a burden, a burden that you don't have to tolerate in your life. So be empowered to choose confidence because it truly, 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 truly will impact your life and your level of happiness like nothing you've ever seen. I promise. Thanks so much for your time. Make it a wonderful day.